welcome back to my channel for those of you that are returning and for those of you that are new welcome my name is Arlicia Renee and here we talk about all things plus size fashion lifestyle and beauty so if that is something that you are interested in make sure you go ahead and become a part of the fam and hit the subscribe button down below so as you see by the title today we are talking about all things shower care routine um it is currently nighttime, even though you can't tell because I have the ring light on. <laughs> um, but it is currently nighttime, and I just got out my shower, and I was like, oh my god, I need to film this video because the products that I've been using lately has just changed the game for my skin, and it is just always glowy and smooth and soft and supple, and I just love it. So I was like, you know what? I need to go ahead and film this video. And two, people are now returning back to the office after being home for two long years and people are going back to school so what better time than now to go ahead and film this video all right so we're going to jump straight in and i'm going to go ahead and talk about the very first thing that makes the world of a difference in any type of routine that you have whether it be skin you know health hair whatever it is water 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 you want healthy glowing skin you need to drink your water like I don't really have much more to say it's it's a fact you need your water like you must drink your water that definitely helps promote healthy glowing skin because remember whatever you put on the inside is what show up on the outside so make sure you are drinking your water This here I have is my favorite tried and true um, body wash. This here is the Dove Care and Protect Antibacterial um, Body Wash. And let me tell you guys something. I love this body wash. It is absolutely amazing. And two, it's antibacterial. And it's like, if you're not showering with some sort of antibacterial soap, then what is the point of you showering? You're not getting off the germs that causes, you know, odor and stuff like that if you're not washing with some sort of antibacterial soap. So that is very important. So I'm the type of woman that uses two body washes in the shower. And like I said, I have one here to get all the dirt off of me. And then I have a second one to just rinse over my body to give me a little smell good and have me, you know, just smelling all fresh and stuff before I go to bed. And that body wash is Body by Taraji P. Henson. This is the Good Days Mandarin and Ginger. I love this stuff so much. It smells amazing. It has great leather and it's sold in Walmart. So you know it's not too expensive. Like I think this is like maybe $7 or something like that. No, maybe not even. Maybe a little bit cheaper. I don't know. I'll have everything that I'm talking about linked down below in the description box. But y'all, this stuff is amazing and you just get out smelling so fresh and so clean. It's it's amazing like you have to try it now we are talking about shower routines and if you know me you follow me on instagram you know i talk about this one product constantly like i have had this probably in my stories about five six seven eight times like i love this stuff here this here is the olay in shower rinse off body conditioner and oh my god this stuff is amazing i freaking love this stuff so much like this conditioner is just simply amazing now from what i know they do have three different types they have a daytime rinse off a nighttime rinse off is what i just showed you and that one has lavender and we all know lavender is used to you know calm the body and get you ready for bed and then they have a rough skin one the rough skin one I actually like because it's a lot thicker and I just feel like it coats me differently. <laughs> I don't know. It could just all be in my mind. But I absolutely love the rough skin one. It's amazing. Now I am a serious, serious, serious fan of exfoliating. I just know for a fact that exfoliating you know two to three times a week has definitely made a difference in my skin and how it appears and my favorite or one of my favorite types of exfoliants is 
by Tree Hut. And I just kind of get whatever one is there. I'm not really particular on whether it's strawberry or I think they have one that's like warm coconut vanilla or something like that. I'm not really too like picky with the scents but I love their scrubs. It is not expensive at all and it definitely lasts a long time. So the second body scrub that I'm obsessed with is currently in my shower and I didn't like feel like taking it out so I'm just gonna pop a picture up somewhere here it is the energizing um body scrub by Dr. Teal's oh my god I just so happened to like stumble across this when I went on vacation because yes every time I go on vacation I buy a new scrub once I get to wherever I'm going <laughs> and um literally has been life-changing like I love that scrub so much now I will say it is thick and a little bit more on the abrasive side you know um, in comparison to the tree hut one this one is not as abrasive but the one from Dr. Teal's it is so if you have very delicate skin and it gets irritated quickly I would just say be careful with that one but me honey I go ham okay <laughs> but I go ham like I literally take like wads of it and scrub all over my body and yes I do be a little red <laughs> but oh my god it just literally has my skin feeling so soft and so smooth so as I previously stated I do exfoliate about two to three times a week and on those days that I do not exfoliate, I shower with this. This here is from Eco Tools, and it is a bath cloth, but it has like, it's kind of like a, a loofah, but it's not rolled together. It's long, and it definitely gives you very much exfoliation using this. And the best thing about that is it's long, so you can get your back, and, and I just love it so even when I'm not using you know a scrub like this to exfoliate my body my body is still getting some sort of exfoliating you know done to it because I will go in with this a second tool that I use on my body when it's time for me to shower it is a silicone hand matte thing and again it's in my shower and I wasn't pulling it out so I will have a picture somewhere up here um I love that thing like, I love that thing. I do not use washcloths because washcloths, to me, you know, it holds bacteria. It doesn't matter how much you wash them in the washer machine, it just holds bacteria. And with this silicone mat, it doesn't hold bacteria. And that's what I love. I use this mat all over and it's super duper nice because it has a place for you to put your hand in and it just, it gets the job done. Like, it definitely gets the job done, and I love it. So my shower routine kind of looks a little something like this. If it's one of those days that I will be using um, an exfoliant, whether it be the Dr. Teal's or the Tree Hut one, I will go ahead, get in the shower, I will go ahead and rinse my body off with just water, and then I will use the exfoliant. And I know some people are like, well, why would you exfoliate first before you wash your body? Well, in my mind, I just feel like, why would I go ahead and wash dead skin that I'm just getting ready to exfoliate off my body like that? To me, in my brain, does not make sense. So I exfoliate first, then I go ahead and go in with my two body washes. Then I go ahead and go in with my in-shower conditioner. So while my in-shower conditioner is sitting on some days, I like to take that time to go ahead and shave. Like, I don't feel the need to spend, you know, extra money on um, shaving creams or shaving oils or anything of that nature because to me, what I have in my shower works just as well, if not better, than, you know, a shaving cream and a shaving oil. And to shave my legs, I do use my Flamingo um, shaver, a razor, I'm sorry. I picked a 
myself on a whim because I was like, now I get girlfriend down below wax, she gets wax, but I wax my own underarms and I was like, I need to do something for my legs. Like I need to go ahead and, you know, maybe I'll wax it. And I'm just like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna shave. So I just took a leap of faith and I bought this from Target. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this thing has changed the game. When I tell you she just glides on, she's so smooth and she's pink and pretty. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> she's pink, she's pretty, and she also comes with an extra cartridge head and um, the holder that you can stick on to like in your shower. Now I don't, I didn't put that up there. I have like a shelf so it just sits in the shelf. But I'm telling you guys, if you try this, you will not be sorry because she's amazing I've been trying something a little bit new while in the shower for the past couple of days and I feel like it's definitely you know made a difference in how my skin absorbs my lotions and body creams and even my smell goods after and that is after I get finished with my in shower conditioner and shaving and everything of that nature I go ahead while my body is still damp and apply an oil inside the shower and I know some people be like oh my god that's nasty it does feel a little weird I'm not gonna lie in the beginning I was like oof am I gonna like this but after doing it for about a week or so I definitely was able to see you know a difference in how my skin absorbs after I get out of the shower to go ahead and put my body butters and on body butters on and I'm not sure about you guys, but once I get out the shower, you know, I wash my face, I brush my teeth, like I do my skincare and stuff. So I don't honestly get out the shower and immediately put lotion on because I feel like I don't want the hands that I just put all of those smell good things on and then touching my face. Like, I don't know. I guess maybe I'm weird. <laughs> but I would not. I, I don't want that. So the oil that I use inside the shower, it just depends honestly on what I have on hand I'm not very picky but recently I've been loving the Dr. Till's moisturizing bath and body oil and this has lavender with jojoba oil sweet almond oil and aloe vera I love this stuff it's it's really 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 good it's it's amazing I'm telling you if you try nothing else from this video please try the shower I mean the oil in the shower because you will not regret it so once our shower is done and we're done in the bathroom I then come into my beauty room and I go ahead and put all of my smell goods on and the very first thing that I go ahead and apply is my regular lotion and this is the hydrating coconut oil infused uh, lotion that I use so with me you might catch a trend I love vanilla coconut nut fresh linen smelling things especially to go to bed so a lot of the products that I use will have some hints of that within the products because I like to continue to use things that smell similar so they don't clash and I just smell like a snack going to bed because I mean who doesn't want to smell like a snack going to bed <laughs> but yes um this is the lotion well this is the lotion that I use and it's great like it's lotion I mean it, it gets the job done and it has my skin feeling extremely soft now call me extra <laughs> but like in the shower with my two body washes I will go in and put on two types of uh, body creams one is the lotion and the other one is some sort of whipped body butter or something of that nature which is a little bit thicker and I have two that I've been loving this one here is the watch me whip and this is also by Taraji P Henson and this is in vanilla I love this one so much y'all it's so thick oh it is so thick it is amazing and it just it just does something like it just mm, I don't know it it's, it's amazing. I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta get y'all hands on this one. And the second one is the Coconut Body Butter from Trader Joe's. Now this one I just purchased because I was, uh, y'all, literally, uh, it, 
Ugh. This one here. This one here is freaking amazing. And I know y'all probably like, oh my God, girl, you think everything you got is amazing because it is like, and it honestly took me some time to find just the right products for me, for my body, the things that smell good, that works with my body chemistry. And for me, once I find that, it's, it's just all amazing. Like, <laughs> it's just all amazing, but Trader Joe's is just that girl, as people say. <laughs> Trader Joe's is just that girl, and Trader Joe's did not miss when they came out with this, okay? And I do want to say, if you made it this far through the video, thank you very much, because I know it's a lot that we are going over, and we are almost finished. Last but certainly not least, we are going to talk about the fragrances that I put on after getting out of the shower. And as I stated before, I am a vanilla girl. So the fragrance that I love to go in with is some sort of vanilla fragrance. And this is just the Vanilla Swirl from Pink. Um, it's just a body mist and she gets the job done. She smells like vanilla. She blends perfectly well with all the other products that I use in the shower and out of the shower. She works well with my body chemistry. She she gets the job done. And this is mostly for when I'm going to bed, um, you know, and just not doing anything or taking a shower and just being around the house. This is what I will put on. Now, as far as smell goods and perfume and things of that nature for when I'm going to work that's a little bit different um I put on more of like a clean smelling perfume only because I work in an operating room and you don't want anything that's like loud and offensive to the doctor to the patient because we be all up in each other's space so I just put something on that's very clean smelling and y'all don't hate me okay because it's from Zara and it's called Knew It. But the reason why I say don't hate me is because I have not been able to find this perfume anymore. Like I am holding on to the last maybe spray or spritz I should say that I have left, okay? Like this thing, oh my God. It gives you clean linen and just a hint of like, maybe lavender some sort of floral but the clean linen is what shines through and when i tell you i'm so sad i'm so sad i can't find her on the website and i did look her up on the internet and yes people were selling it for like 50 60 70 dollars and this thing only cost me i think twenty dollars if that so i'm gonna definitely have to try and find something close to this because i'm pretty sure zara made something else that's close to it but y'all this oh i'm so sad because i love the way this smell like it just smells like you just came straight out the dryer like <laughs> Like you just came straight out the dryer you know dryer sheets was on a hundred y'all don't put five thousand dryer sheets in there and you just balled yourself up threw yourself in the dryer came out smelling like fresh linen like this is what that gives you and i love it like absolutely love it that is it for today's video and i hope you guys enjoyed again this here is my you know hygiene routine i hope you guys were able to get something from out of it try some new things if you do or if you use some already make sure you let me know down in the comments below um because these products are amazing again everything will be linked down in the description box below and thank you again so much for clicking on the video and watching and i'll see you guys in the next one